Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So, I have something so cool to show you guys today. You might not know what this is, so I'm, I'm gonna zoom out and show you guys. So, sorry about my camera work, it's really bad, but, um, yeah. Do you like guys like my slippers? I got them for Christmas, they're really cute. So, um, this is the Bigger World Night Angel Enclosure. So, this is, like, amazing. It's so cute, and, um, I got my nails done. Hope you guys like them. Um, but this is a really amazing cage because it is super big and in like depth wise, it's amazing for burrowing because you can put so, so much bedding in there. So that's really good. Um, and it's just amazing and I love it so much. I got it for Christmas and I am so happy. So this is the other side. Um, we did have some difficulties making it one of the, um, like back, as you can see, like these little front pieces that pop out, one of them actually broke because um, it broke, yeah. So that was a problem, but it's great now, and I'm loving it so much. So I want to show you guys this. Let's get to the video now. Hey, guys. Welcome. And I didn't see I'm wearing my lounge pants. It's actually 11 o'clock, and I'm still in my pajamas because that's what winter break is like. You know what I mean? It's like that, so. I want to take my leg down. We're good. As you can see, I have my lovely Christmas decorations up. I know it's past Christmas, but uh, I got really busy over the holidays, so I could not film a video for you guys. And it's only the 29th, so. This is just my lovely bits. I like this piece the best. It's not real, but it's really cute. So. You guys saw that beginning clip, and yes, that indeed is my new hamster cage. I'm crying because that hamster cage, I believe, is $249. Like, I got some money in my wallet, but I do not have enough to buy that. So, it was just such a, like, praise that I got that. It was one of the number one things on my Christmas list and i got it so that was just mind-blowing i i was so happy when i opened it i was like wait what is this box because it was big and i was like what the heck and my dad was like my dad was like what does it say and i i was like i forget what it said exactly but it said something for pets and then i would and then i started opening it and i was like ah, the bigger world night angel and closure and everybody's like what so we have put it together as you saw there um sorry guys that was really gross i don't know why i had to show you guys that but it was just so amazing and a lot of you guys probably look at my nails i uh, haven't done but uh as you guys know i'm a dancer and i currently have a showcase coming up so i cannot wear these because it's too distracting so i do have to take these off soon it's just dipped like th these are my real nails but i have to get them off which is okay though because I got them done like way before Christmas. So if I go on for a minute, but so um today's video. Now that you know that, we're gonna have a quick updates section. I know that every time I have like an update because I never post when I said I will, but I'm posting now. So like I said, guys, I am so sorry I did not post over the holidays. Um, we've had some family matters we had to take care of. Um, so that's been really hard, we'll say. Um, it's a Thursday and I'm posting. It's okay. But um, you guys can hear the birds chirping. But it's where I live right now. It is completely snow covered. And I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> like, there is no... It's just all snow. I wish I could show you guys my window, but I cannot. Um, for safety reasons. So, yeah. But, I'm gonna actually get to the updating. Updating. So, as you saw, I have that amazing new hamster cage. Actually, I think... Um, I'm going to Vermont. And so, I leave New Year's Day. So, I need to get all of my, um, I have basically, let me actually start from the beginning. Okay, so 
after on Christmas, after I got in my hamster cage, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get a hamster. And I was like looking and I was looking and I was looking and there's like, I was like, I really want one before I go to Vermont. Which made zero sense in my mind because number one, um, like my hamster would be alone for four days, which is not bad because it'll be new hamster. But that would mean that my uncle who was watching my cats and my dog would have to like take care of that hamster. And he's done it before. Like he took care of Linda, he took care of Chubbs, but it would be really hard for him to take care of a new hamster because I don't know the hamster. So I don't know like anything about it. So that would be that. That was my first thought, but I was like, you know what? I can't do that for those reasons. So then I started looking on the Strong Brew Hamstery website. And if you do not know Strong Brew Hamstery, it is an ethical breeder who breeds hamsters. I believe it is like, I believe it's just one girl. I don't think it's like this huge business. It's really not. It's, they have amazing litters. Their hamsters are so healthy. And if you watch Victoria Rachel, you should because she's my idol and I love her so much, but I would never, like, I just love her so much. And she got two of her hamsters from that. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally get one. And then I looked at the wait list. It's really long. Uh, it's really long, actually. Just for the people who are ready to adopt right now. It's long. So I was like, you know what? I'll get one from the pet store after I get back from them. Because the, the cage will be ready and everything. Because I need to get a couple things like new bedding and new fed, feed. And stuff like, stuff like that. But I am going to be doing that. We might be putting our names on the wait list for the next hamster. I don't totally know. But we're done with updates. So we're going to actually get to the video. Okay, so to start with the video, actually today's video is kind of like cool. It's, it's like things I need to remind myself of. Or remind you guys of when owning a hamster. Because I know I... Like, I don't know how to say this. I need to remind myself as well because I'm getting a new one. So, okay, let's start. Sorry, guys, I don't know. I'm, like, looking at myself through the camera. But to start off, the first thing is never take, like, things I've learned from owning a hamster. So, like, first off is don't take them for granted. Like, I remember when owning Linda, like, back in the really early days, I would be, like, I'd be like, I wonder what it's going to be like when she passes. Like, I wonder if, like, I'm, like, I kind of want another one. Like, I wonder which one I'm going to get when she passes. I remember thinking that to myself, and, I, and now that I look back, that's so, like, not okay to me. Because Linda was the best thing that, one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And that, me thinking that I'm, like, oh, you know Oh, I'm going to get another one. Like, that really hurts me because she was my everything. So, that was, like, rough. Um, So, that's number one. And then number two is essentially, like, being prepared. Like, obviously, I know that I'm going to be prepared for, like, the bedding and everything and just everything. But being prepared to be scared again. Because I know, like, I was... A little scared of chubs, I have to admit that. I need to not be scared. No, it's okay to be scared. But I need to not be scared because, yes, chubs passed, and I never actually picked him up with my bare hands. So that's, like, rough to me. I need to, like, really be prepared to, you know, I'm going to be bitten. Like, my friend got a hamster for Christmas, and she was bitten two days after. Like, I need to be prepared that it's going to be a little rough on the start. And I'm going to be bitten a couple times, but it's going to be okay. It's essentially what I need to remember. And then the third thing is, like, um, understanding. Because I know, as uh, someone who's owned three hamsters now, that it is, like, really important that I continue researching about the hamster throughout like, throughout having them. Like, I don't want to just, like, learn one thing and be like, oh, okay, that's my entire lifespan. I need to remember that I need to learn more things as I go 
so that I can just improve. Um, but this cage was a big, big plus. I talk with my hands, guys. You gotta get used to that. But it was a huge plus. So, yeah, that's number three, right? Yeah, that's number three. So, number four would be, like, remember to be inspiring. Because I know, um, actually, one of my dance friends, after Linda passed away, I was having chubs. I had chubs. And she was like, I got a hamster. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. And I was giving her all this advice. And she didn't take any of it. Uh, her hamsters actually live in a crater trail. And it's not the greatest shape. And she actually um, started out with two hamsters. And one hamster ate the other hamster. She didn't take my advice, and I kind of understand because I think everybody thinks me as a child. Yeah, it's not, like, not a lot of children would be as amazing with hamsters. Like, not every child is going to be amazing with hamster. But I don't think I'm amazing, but I think I'm worth one. And I think she thought that I really didn't do my research, but I really did. Like, this was really something... I really, I told her who to watch on YouTube if she needed inspiration. I told her all these different things, and she didn't really take any of it. And I understand that, because, look at me, I don't look too, you know, professional, and I'm not. But I do know quite a bit of things about them, and I've all learned them from other people. Like, oh, that's not true, but I've learned a lot of it from other people. So that's that. Um, and also, so the four, so that was three. Be more, be less helpful and be more inspiring. Like, oh, that's totally, like, okay, but I think you should. You know, like that. And then number five would be a little less, like, I mean, not a little less, a little more into them. Be a little, like, I need to be a little more, like, on top of things, I need to remember to feed them in the mornings, feed them at night. Try to take them now five times a week of the cage. Because that, that cage is their entire living environment. And yes, it's big. That doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be free roamed five days a week. So I'm actually going to be making a schedule and I'll put this in this video. And that is my number five thing. Like, being on top of it. And having a schedule. And being ready for that. So, yeah. I'm going to do a time lapse of me actually writing down that new schedule for the new hamster. So... I'll add that in. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!